lots of wine, lots of interest. But as an example, we've just launched our Penfold collection across the United States, England. We've been traveling and working with media. And the Penfold collection consists of five different vintages. So we have the good, the bad, and the ugly of the different years. So we're not just reliant on one year or the constraints of a bad season. It's split across five years. So that risk management, if that's what we can refer to it as being, has, you know, done us very well over the years. And not to forget, next year, in a few months' time, Penfolds were 180 years old. So we've put together a portfolio of wines from single vineyards, different regions and now different countries to help weather and buffer those irregularities in season and market forces. So we're pretty well set up, I think. But overall, as an industry, more and more people are drinking wine. It's the new language of business. It's what people do. It's not just for the chosen few. And uh, yeah, I think times look good as more and more people drink wine. Peter, can I ask you about climate change? You operate globally and there's all sorts of reports in, in recent months, even right to, to the French market, where the taste could be changing for some of those famous wines and champagnes because of climate change. We know it's very hard to balance the fruit because of the excess sun that some of these regions are now receiving. What jumps out to you about climate change and how the industry responds? Well, you know, we've been dealing with climate change since the mid-1800s in Australia, South Australia, the driest state of the driest continent, and we've been shopping around and chasing or changing our sourcing. Now we've jumped oceans. In China, as an example, where are we getting first quality Cabernet from in places that are quite elevated? Shangri-La sits at about 3,300 metres. Our Chardonnay in Australia, for example, more and more of it is coming from the island state of Tasmania. We're using latitude. If we get Chardonnay out of New South Wales, we use, you know, elevation, vineyards above six, 700 metres. So there are ways of sort of bending your knees and keeping your back straight in terms of sourcing, as well as in situ means of dealing with climate change, mulching, the way that you treat the dirt, the soil. You know, all of those 1% is put together help is it a solution? Well, no, we need a much bigger solution globally. But in the wine industry, we're very adaptive and we have been dealing with this for some time now. Thank you. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersetti and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.